In a video a couple weeks back, we swapped out the stock chrome engine crash guards for the black crash guards from Hogworks. And ever since I did that, these saddlebag guards have been driving me absolutely nuts. They look so out of place to me. And I'm really in the process of switching as much chrome over to black as possible. Now I added the stretched bags and I haven't had much luck finding some black crash bars. They're actually made for stretched bags. So I've put a lot of thought into it, trying to decide what I wanted to do. And I'm just going to eliminate the saddlebag guards. I ordered these from a company online called Eagle Skull. I'll pin a link in the comment down below if you want to check them out. I did a little bit of digging and stuff and I stumbled across these guys and I thought their product sounded pretty good. It's, it's a pretty small company. They just make high quality stuff and these are really nice and heavy duty and they look really nice obviously they're going to be pretty much hidden but i'm just trying to tell you what the quality is on this stuff as long as they fit which they should we're good to go and we're going to find out let's get into it all right so our first step is really going to be get the seat off remove the saddlebags and go from there Now I'm just going to pull the side covers off. Next I'm going to use a T27 Torx wrench and a 7 16 ratchet wrench. Then I'm going to use a T45 Torx bit on a ratchet. The nut on the back here is a 9 16 I'm not going to remove that bottom one completely just yet because it's pretty much all that's holding this together once I take this top one off. these out we can just slide it right off of here it really doesn't get much easier than this one folks in order to finish off of our delete here we just need to slide the new bracket on slide the new bolt in and it comes with the new nut for the back side and then we'll just take our stock bolts and put those back in. And the stock nut on the back side. That was a 9 16 And then we'll just tighten down our bolt here, our small bolt. That thing fits perfectly, highly recommend this hardware from Eagle Skull. That makes this whole process so smooth and easy and effortless. I love that. I love it when things just go the way they're supposed to. You look at that i mean this is the easiest project that i've done on the road glide in a long time that took no time at all like 
maybe 30 minutes, but I was moving cameras around and doing things to make this video as well. So I think 15, 20 minutes at the very most, you could have this job done. Looks super, super good, clean. Those brackets from Eagle Skull are perfect. I really don't know what else to say about it. Job done, accomplished, easy short video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you got something out of it. Let me know what you think about this. Is it a mistake getting rid of the bag guards? And even if it is a mistake, like how does it look? <laughs> I don't know. None of the new bikes have bag guards on them. I mean, maybe the Ultras probably do. I'm taking a chance, but like I said, with the stretch bags, the bottom of the bags were gonna get messed up before the saddle bag guard touched the ground anyways. So either way, it's like the bottoms get messed up or the whole bag gets messed up. If something was to happen, either way, you had to get new bags. Man, it looks good. I would say, if I found some saddle bag guards that looked good, that were made for stretched bags, I may consider having them on if they were black, but for, for what I have found so far, I think this is the best option. I think it looks really good, but I am interested what you guys think, so just drop that down in the comments and let me know. Is this a project you do? By the way, these things are not very expensive. I think under 50 bucks. That all the information I'll drop in the description and in the comments, I'll pin a comment down below. That's gonna do it. Thanks a lot for checking out this video. I know it was short and easy and whatever, but there you go. Stay safe out there as always. Have a great week and I will catch you next time right here on Touring Midwest. Peace.